Hi. 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 How can I help you? A long time to see. Um, I was sent here uh, by the engineering. I should get a permit copy for the thing that went up uh, for Occupy or near Jefferson Street. Lane Street. They're now working on the sidewalk, but should on the sidewalk and have the street. The sidewalk in that one. You want to look at the plan? I want to get a copy. And you're from engineering? No, no, I am um, just a civilian citizen, uh, resident, um, okay. hometown native. Um, I need it as evidence because I was removed from that sidewalk last year by police who claimed it was a park using a fake map for the parks department that wasn't a real map. Uh, you can Listen. take a seat. It's going to take Thank me a second to check. Please. Thank you. Everything helps. Yep. Yeah, they're across here from the mission. There's a homeless hate crime, human trafficking lynch problem in both this town and seven other jurisdictions that my brother and I have taught. And they regularly don't go over their elements, and they regularly try and cover up when they get caught doing things wrong. And most of them we were successful in. We've won like two dozen or more trials. Um, this is one of the few where they convinced the jury that I must have been in the park, even though there was no parks department there to substantiate that that map was real. It was hearsay. You know, and obviously, definition of right of way is 1742. Uh, and you guys have really old plats. You know, your um, city docs website's really handy for the city plats. So a normal, objectively reasonable cop would not have done that. And we're really disappointed. Uh, you, we saw, you, this, a, si a protest was silenced. It was occupied Jefferson. We moved all everybody to the sidewalk because we, we actually talked to you guys as well as some other people. And you were like, yeah, there's no permit or closure for that sidewalk. We don't see anything wrong with it. And that was the argument that we used in the court and won for some of them, um, the, the municipal court at least, the county court where we lost because it's a wrong court or uh, wrong judge, even wrong elements. It was a wrong charge. It was an unlawful conduct of public property charge. It's like what they give you after they see you in the park too many times. They should just be keeping you in your park curfew tickets, but they have to in the county. Nevertheless, the park curfew ticket was struck down because there was no designation, even for a park. So naturally, designation is good to work with it if you're a cop you're supposed to use it and uh, I just was shocked beyond belief when I saw a sidewalk closed sign in a actual place where the whole public thinks it's a park the way the news reported it everyone was removed there was no issues I'm uh, basically a politically silenced whistleblower a dissident um, we, we're having to report on all these things dirty cops just not wanting to own up to their you know mistakes of not being taught right so look at Looking for some reform. You guys are awesome. Uh, engineering's awesome. Streets department. Um, uh, Rick, no, was it uh, Rob Mosby and Ted Shepard in the planning and uh, construction departments? Uh, GIS, uh, uh, um, John Benita and the survey. You guys are, I'm using you as my facts. <laughs> it's awesome. It's all public documents. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for at least nodding your head a couple times. That's more than what I've gotten I'm from listening. other people. I'm listening. No, no, no. Yeah. Because you're a fast talker. I'm sorry. A lot of variables. But yeah. if I had to sum it up shortly, we've got um, basically people getting educations that give them the reputation to think that they're doing their jobs. And then they, when they go out there, they meet people that they think aren't smart, you know, homeless people and stuff. And, and what's strange is Dave and I fell into this crack. Uh, we're really responsible. So we learned how to, you know, read maps and do statutes and stuff. So we, we're actually outside of their parks. We're actually not in the inner streets from private properties and with permissions uh, or no formal ones. But basically, um, it's like a gladiator pit. They show up. They have a, an incorrect definition of what the words are. They have, they don't even use their own. Sometimes we even cut them not even reading the statute that they're picking us up on until they read it later. And then. And then it's glad you're picked because we show up and you know we exercise all our rights. Hey, we're on private property. Or hey, this we're not in your park. And so most of the time we we're, we got a really good track record of winning these days, and, and we don't even need attorneys these days. In fact, the attorneys we actually had a problem with. They told us to plead out for some things when we took it ourselves and found out that they were good cases, you know, void for vagueness. So we're kind of having to report a failed public defender system to. You know. But basically, just. Uh, racketeering activities, which is kind of like you know two or more crimes to keep an enterprise going, and it's usually cover-up crimes, and it's a lot, uh, largely related to 
um, like conceptually like how the mind works, egos and you know, narcissism and not wanting to admit facts, obvious denial of fact, um, things like that. And so um, these people just think they know what the law, how it works, and they try to apply it and they don't know how the law works. Yep. And so so we're we, yeah, we're we're the new DAs in town. Just we're doing really good. We have a lot of other cases in other jurisdictions. Uh, even stings now, fake charges that we know how to trump up. Uh, and get dropped immediately just to prove a point <laughs> because people aren't believing us, you know? Wow. So, but, uh, I, let me just finish with this. This will sum it up. These are profiles that people set up with caught. Profiles that people think that they're saving money on, like, for instance, a park curfew because you're saving money on the policing at night, you know? But you're also taking everybody's rights away. Um, the three unrelated rules of blanket policy, camping is a blanket policy, um, but basically, uh, panhandling tickets too. And so um, these blanket policies are, how do say it? They're, no way! Sidewalk closed here. Very nice, very nice. And they've had their sidewalk closure up for the last few months because of the work that they've been doing. They've been, oh, on we've been stuck in Denver, so we just came up to town. For, okay. So it's been up for a while? It's been up for, I would say, at least the last three or four, three months, two months, mm -hmm. somewhere in that range. Um, and so that sidewalk has been closed because they've been in there for a while. Who did for a fact to change that to say? Did they change it? Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need anything sad. else? No. Uh, you guys are more helpful than anybody else in the police department. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, let me just finish with this. Yeah. Blanket policies, okay. So they, uh, people set them up to save money, but the problem is is that nobody knows what the burden of proof is in these things, and it's guilty until proven innocent. And that's really hard in a courtroom when you're kind of glitched first, and then if you can't prove your innocence, which is not your burden, then you get found guilty of stuff. So we figured out, why not just play it out and just bait them? stuff and, you know with a fake charge when it's come on we're desperate we're trying to prove cases here and so i got to share this because it's a really entertaining one thing um because of how silly but i'm sorry that you know i have to report this too because it's basically all of our taxpayer dollars poof, but it's reform so it's good but basically there's a receipt checking policy in walmart you, guys have been in walmart, you know every time you leave they might ask you might not ask you it's a personal policy but it's a blanket policy and the unfortunate thing is that they profile anybody who doesn't show a receipt uh, uh, must be stealing. Let's go look at the video footage. They're not supposed to detain you though, because just showing, not showing receipt is not indication of any theft. It's not, yeah. you know, just simply one step in many. So I got um, stopped uh, first by a Walmart employee once, just slightly. And if you go online and look up YouTube, there's a lot of videos of people being stopped just by Walmart employees. I just happened to see a cop there, and so this is before I even buy my cheese. I decided to start recording because I do that for all my stuff, and so I, I pre-planned it out, bought my cheese. Had my receipt, and when they stopped me, um, the cop said, "He's stopping me," and I'm like, "Are you detaining me?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a theft investigation." And he showed us your receipt, and I'm like, "I'm exercising my rights. I never said I didn't have it. I never said I didn't pay." And uh, he's like, "Well, I fought world wars. You know, I know rights. So screw you, blah blah." blah. And so uh, they, he asked me, "What is he doing? Some little investigation?" They go look at some video footage. Probably not. They came back pretty quickly. Said I stole the cheese. I was shocked. I was like, "Okay, I guess so." Uh, you got me, but not, you know, I didn't say anything. Uh, they arrested me, um, took me to the back because it was a ticket, non custodial arrest. Um, so that wasn't it. a big ticket ring. Um, and then what happens is I show them to see it at the very end, right when it's all over and they're escorting me out. And they're like, What is this? And it's like, Come on, guys, it was a sting, it's a secret shopper. It's not as entertaining or funny showing it to you right then and there. And it proves a point that you built an entire case off of nothing, off of a profile. And, um, you know, I called the Charlotte Bears, they took it right away, at least with. That case, I mean, fights with the other internal affairs over things. But that kind of sums up our cases of just stupid profiles and people ratifying policies and they don't know what's law. And since they don't know what's law, and we tried to tell them uh, and they wouldn't listen, now we're sticking it to them as secret shoppers. And so, truthfully speaking, I'm probably going to have my brother trespassing this and actually get a trespassing charge for the first time. We're really clean people, but we're, just, we're pretty desperate at this point. Because if a cop says that he has probable cause to believe that that's public land, that's exactly the opposite of the probable cause complaint he had that night to move us all off the sidewalk. That's worth a trespassing you ticket. You've been spending a lot of time thinking about this stuff. Huh? 
we have no jobs still. We lost our jobs through a no fault of our own two years ago. Uh, initially, it was supposed to be pretty short lived and just finding places to sleep and, and stuff. And we weren't even paying, uh, but we needed a notary for a motion to dismiss for some days. And so they moved us along faster than we could get our paperwork out. And then they moved us along again for that more paperwork. And so we just kept collecting paperwork until we stopped getting lynched. And now we have a van and we're hiding in it. Uh, but they still jimmy into our vehicles and stuff. We have that. And, um, but we're okay now. Or we're getting tickets slower than we're putting the paperwork together for. Um, but basically, it's um, we got trapped in a... Um, Really strange. We came from a Mormon family, and we've been trying to get help from them ever since. Uh, I was wrongfully convict, convict um, 12 years ago. So uh, naturally, this is all coming out of that. There's not finding good jobs in places, and so it all fell apart, anyways. And we're just here to prove it all. But the point is, is no one will believe us for anything. And so we're actually whistleblowing. Now we're up to, or talking, or I'm setting up things with mayors now. And if the mayors don't want to get it, then. Um, I'm going to have to file the 42 USCs. I'm going to have to do the homework and bill you, you guys, bill everybody. I, you know, our taxpayer dollars is going to be going to me uh, to do all of their bitch homework that they didn't do the, when they should. And they, and they could have. Everyone could have used map sets on the, everyone could have had benefit of that. By the way, one of these uh, other tickets we got, we offered maps on the streets. And they're like, nope, save that for court. Uh, we have maps. And we're like, can we see them? And they're like, nope, that's in our patrol vehicles. We'll see in court. And we showed up our, with our maps. And we won. So, just crap like that. so, yeah, we're just trying to put it together. We're really behind. Where our van is broken down in Longmont, uh, we literally could use 100 bucks to 1000 bucks to fix everything up with. I'm, I'm just really panhandling you guys. Please, please. Heard you. Heard you. I, I can help you. I know. We're all in the same boat. But yeah. at the very least, um, we have so much crap that we ended up just deciding we're just going to put it on YouTube unfiltered and let people go through our lives one event at a time. Everything's recorded. And as a result, um, um, the, the GoFundMe attached to it. Maybe I could do a digital panhandle. I don't want any more than what it takes to put together this paperwork to sue the living daylights out of them. And then maybe pay the people back. I don't care. I don't care about the money. I personally just wanted to protest not having places to sleep. And so these blanket policies, they effectively move a lot of homeless people along. Um, whatever tickets they feel fit, home, uh, park for view, camping, or um, directing a structure, which we found out was vague and the thing is what they've been using for years. Uh, basically, it's effective we moved along all these people uh, from locations, by the way, that are outside of parks that we found it out where people were being taken there for years. And uh, so we were the first ones to exercise the right to call those sweet spots. We selected a ton of sweet spots now. And we're basically turning in crime scenes. We're really, 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 really sorry, guys. <laughs> it's bad news, but at least you guys are the helpful side. Really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry for the trouble.